Hello everyone, welcome back to Dominant Wolf 18 Twitch channel. Uh, we are continuing yesterday's playthrough of Pokemon Diamond Randomizer Edition. Uh, yes, I have my lovely little Raichu with his lineup mask. And yes, his mask is sound activated, so that's just gonna randomly do that. If the flashing bothers anybody, please let me know and I can turn it off real easy. Okay? Um, where we less laughed, bleh bleh. Where we last left off, we had just gotten to Jubilife City and we're actually on our way to leave Jubilife City to make our way towards the first gym. We have a little bit of level grinding to do because Gen 4 games, you must level grind. So, let's see, we already battled that trainer. She's not a trainer, at least not a fighting trainer. So we're just gonna dig around in the grass a little bit, get a couple of more levels before we start making our way. Uh, hello, Tangrowth. I forgot you lived over here. Um, I don't remember what was good, so we'll try Power Whip. So we'll just do that again. Magical leaf. It's not very effective. Perks of being a steel type. Ooh, that's as low as he can get. Mm. Do I want to try to catch him? Yeah. This isn't to really use. This is just more for the sake of catching it. one said no. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna finish this up. And then we'll probably move on to the next patch of grass. Oh, and of course we miss. You gotta be like this casual. <laughs> also, welcome to the stream. Oh, fair warning to everyone. If you see me go wonky for a second, I got brand new glasses today, like a couple hours ago. So my eyes are having to adjust to my correct prescription because I've been wearing the wrong prescription for about two and a half years, almost three. So if you see me kind of do something weird, I promise it's just because my eyes are freaking out for a second. I'm fine. Hey, there we go. We killed that Tangrowth. They're only level 4, but they're worth so much XP. Uh, who do we actually need to be leveling? Not honestly scale mill. Alright, let's switch. You and... We'll get Steel Toe up to level 8, and then H2O. Cleffa, I honestly don't care about. Okay, listen. I would've, but I had to take them off as I left, because... These aren't actually sitting all that correctly. My headset's... All right there, Honchcrow. Uh, my headset's actually holding my glasses in place right now because whenever they installed the new lenses, they bent the tar out of my frame. Welcome, Drake. Lurk all you want. Let us blaze kick. That's a bit of a problem, but it's a low kick. <laughs> yeah, so I just put these back on before the start of stream because I do need to let my eyes adjust to them. But I had to take, like, headache medicine after I ate dinner and everything because, A, I already had a headache. Yeah, I, I need to find a better picture than the wolf picture that I took at Yellowstone. Hi, Boa, how are you? 
right now it's just a temporary kind of thing. I need to figure out something better. Yes, Casual, I know you made me one. I just have yet to actually put it onto the computer to scale it properly for Twitch. That's a level 5 tech growth. I have been lazy, Casual. Please understand this. <laughs> that might honestly be something I work at uh, tomorrow morning. Since I get to work from home tomorrow. I'm doing good, Boa. A little tired and fighting an eye strain headache because of the new glasses, but not too bad. I'm just happy I've got this working after a week and a half of fighting with it. Which the goal is to go till about 8 o'clock my time. Drake should be going live then, so I'll probably just shunt everyone who's in my lobby over to Drake. Can I reduce the blue light on the screen? Yeah, hang on one sec. Is that a little bit better? Okay, so because you weren't here last night, Boa, everything that's randomized is Pokemon's types, their abilities, and what moves they can learn. Well, no, for your eyes, I meant. Oh, um, I'll mess with that later. It's not the blue light really hurting, it's just the fact that it's a new prescription lens. The only thing that isn't randomized, essentially, is... Like, Leaf Blade is still a grass-type move. Yes, Helatilla, I have bleached my hair because in a couple days, I'm supposed to be getting the last hair dye color I need, and I'm going to turn this into a tricolor. Yes, Drake Astigmatism is awful. So. Yeah, Helatilla, this, uh, this is a precursor to me recoloring my hair. She's going through a Japanese teen angst phase. Don't mind her. Why you gotta do this to me, casual? <laughs> I didn't realize Stilto hit level 8 already. Uh, so my starter was Curvy Biss. I'll show you. <laughs> so, this was my starter, Boa. <laughs> My choices were Cresselia, Toxicroak, and something else that was evolved and I'm blanking on it. Uh, I have a clip of it up on my channel. But yeah, its ability is also Drought. These are the four moves it started with, which was Hyper Beam, Poison Fang, Tail Whip, and Swagger. But, okay, we need to switch him and H2O. And we're gonna move on to the next patch of grass. Because we have to make our way to the next city. Oh look, a trainer. <laughs> All right there, Crocodile. I wanna point out, this whole time, except for a few exceptions, like the Sand Slash and Kakuna and Clefe, everything I fought has been a final stage evolution. Which stinks because they won't evolve and I have evolution set to randomize and not be related at all. <laughs> so I can theoretically have a Pokemon evolve like seven or eight times before it finally hits something that doesn't evolve. This is just a rando. I'm not doing Nuzlocke, I'm not torturing myself that way. Was that Sky Attack super effective? All right then. Sorry, Boa. I had some bot issues, and so the auto mod is on, like, high alert for any and everything, and it's annoying. But it's the best way. Why are you not... Oh, right. There he goes. I think the only thing I was confused about was rando, which I don't get. It's not something that's supposed to alert to. It tried killing his message. I let it through. Let's see. I think I have a couple potions. Uh, Alright, this is gonna be faster. Nope, that one. 
Hey, I do have a potion. Uh, we'll use it to top up Steel Toe, and then we're gonna go fight this trainer down here. Yeah, but when Casual had some issues with the Autobot mod last night. Hey, a Torchic! <laughs> hey, look, guys, our first actual starter. Now we have to catch it without killing it. <sighs> it, no. It doesn't. Wait! What's immune to grass? Wait, what? Thank you, Orc! I wonder how long until you see my favorite two Pokemon, the Churchig line and the Shanks line. I... Hi, Orc, how are you tonight? Uh, yeah, that's gonna be interesting because this randomizer includes Pokemon up to Gen 5. I don't know if they're gonna appear in the Gen 4 game, but we have at least spur generations of Pokemon for sure in this game. And it died. Okay, so it was part fighting type or bug? All right, so we're gonna we're gonna switch away from H two O, and we're gonna throw Steel Toe back up front in case we run into another Torchic because that one just got nuked. But first, we're gonna fight this kid. If we're always together. I'll show you how we bonded. <laughs> oh no, Gentleman Lawrence. Oh yeah, for someone, uh, I had. The trainer names and the trainer types randomized. Kid has an Arceus. I haven't been trolled that hard yet, okay? It did let me start the game with a minor god, so there is that. <laughs> okay, so you're resistant to ghost type moves. This is the fun part about the randomizer, though, is me having to go, what move or what type are you? <laughs> Yeah, that's super effective because I'm steel type. <laughs> My kite is stream. <laughs> we'll we'll see if we end up across a kid with the god. The gym leaders are also randomized, so that's gonna be fun. And there goes Steel Toe. Well, obviously we're not sending out scale mail. Uh Kirby Miss, you wanna do some cleanup? <laughs> That's true, he could both have the literal Pokemon God and the literal Pokemon Satan. And it's a steel type, because it's immune to poison. <laughs> Why is everything immune to poison? <laughs> this is a problem I've been having. I've either been super effective with poison or no damage. All right, we go re. Casual, when in doubt, we scream beam. <laughs> oh yes, stats are also randomized. So even though Kirby Biss is a ground type, she has an insanely high speed for her level, which is kind of hilarious. Um, we're gonna go back just to heal because I have one fainted Pokemon and three that are now technically injured with no potions because I spent all my money on Pokeballs. And then we're gonna try to find another Torchic because I kind of want that Torchic. Oh, oops, right here, wrong now. Zero. Yes. Lame. <laughs> Just because this isn't a Nuzlocke doesn't mean I'm not gonna sit here and avoid suffering more than I have to. Talk to her. I could have just stuck by. <laughs> Mach 3 earthquake go. <laughs> have I seen a Zubat yet? I don't think I've seen a Zubat yet. 
have attack points. Uh, when in doubt, blaze kick. It's resistant to fire. <laughs> Casual, this isn't a wild. This is a trainer battle. I can't catch this one. Power whip, if it'll hit. No. It's also resistant to grass. Um, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, that hurt. <laughs> Maybe? It might be a dragon type. So I will say this one doesn't have fairy, so this is old school rules. It was also resistant to ghost. I'm thinking you're right on the dragon. Dragon's got the most resistances. Listen. <laughs> That's because it was Pokemon Coliseum, okay? <laughs> yes! Yes, please learn Iron Tail. gonna get rid of barrier. Hot dragon on <laughs> We are number 15 snagging casual. <laughs> if I find a modded version of a Pokemon game that allows me to play as Team Rocket. We lived! <laughs> yeah, we're gonna switch. Uh, you know what? H2O, you've been having good luck tonight. <laughs> nah, just edit the murder missions for catching Pokemon other trainers have. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I love Larvitar because it's adorable and evolves into something terrifying. Well, that's a problem. So, we're gonna take a nap now, apparently. just gonna attempt to wake up and leaf seed this thing and pray it doesn't hurt us. Well, that's a Luxray move. Well, no. Voltorb also knows charge. Hello, Grog, how are you? <laughs> the Drakey has sent me and I appreciate it. When I end stream, it should be about the time Drake goes live, so I'll just shunt everyone over. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, Grok. <laughs> Which, that, I need to fix real quick. That, and that. Are we awake? We're awake. Alright, we're gonna sky attack. Okay. He's very insistent. So you started stealing Pokemon. Would you be a member of Team Snagit or Rocket? I would probably be a... If I had to choose, it'd be Team Rocket. Hello, Tilly. Do you want to be a Pokemon? An ugly one? Like... Mmm. It's cute. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, Hello, Tilly. You could always live out your dreams of being a cat. <laughs> Drake. <laughs> you could always be the troll and go, uh, was it Glammeow into Pugly? Or Pearl? Pearl? How's that one pronounced? Pergly? Pergly. Starly. Um, we're gonna keep battling because I don't remember what type Starly is. How do you know about my dream? I mean, you freak out every time you see my cats. And what better way to live life than to be a cat, where you get to legally sleep 12 hours a day? Does Drake keep any secrets? <laughs> he does! <laughs> I didn't tell her. <laughs> uh, yes, Boa. Raichu's mask is sound activated, so whenever it hears my voice from this little box down here, it will flash. If it bothers anybody, let me know and I can turn it off with a simple flip of the switch. I just thought it would be neat to have my little Raichu buddy chilling with me while we play this. Ooh, a whole sixty-four dollars. <laughs> All right. Eighteen hours. Yeah. Okay. Cats sleep for eighteen hours a day. Hey, look, another Tangrowth. It's 
what, 120 XP? Alright, I'll catch you later, Boa. Thanks for stopping in. Oh, you are... Whoops! <laughs> we need to switch. <laughs> Let's not use the Pokemon with literally 1 HP. It's not even $64, more like 64 cents, right? With Pokeballs costing $200, it's like, yeah. like Blaze Kick. I don't remember. I haven't been paying attention. I... Casual, why you gotta be like this? You and Hella Tiller are gonna start vibing in chat. <laughs> the device that can capture God himself costs two bucks. <laughs> I mean, you're technically not wrong. Also, fun note, the items are randomized, so I could possibly pick up Master Balls just laying around off the ground. That is an option in this. Uh, oh wait, no, not a fight. I haven't caught one of these yet, so we're gonna try to capture. <laughs> My connection seems to have cleared up. Okay, obviously Tentals. <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious, you two. Catch it. I'm going to attempt to catch it. It's super weak. God. You two are going to be vibing in chat. <laughs> oh, right. I have to... Oh, no, no, no. Please stop freaking out on me. There's only two. I need to get an eye in here. Her audience would dig this vibe. <laughs> Rookie numbers. Oh god! <laughs> I'm not even paying attention. True, true, but it's a quality account. Oh my god, you do! <laughs> God himself, but I'll also make an absolute dominion over space and time. <laughs> not if you grab it. <laughs> Drake, we're not here to talk about your octopus obsession. She is currently right here by my hand because I'm laughing. <laughs> oh, ma'am, it's okay. I promise. They're just making me laugh. <laughs> Hi, honey. <laughs> Come on. What? Come here. Ugh. There. Can you chill here? I'll just use my mouse for this. Oh gosh. <laughs> Hate them. I'm gonna say something that I might regret there, Helatilla. Some people are very well versed in using their feet as replacement hands. Y you didn't have to drag monkeys into that casual. All right, we're just gonna kill this thing because it refuses to get caught. I'll... All right. <laughs> to be fair, Boa, I was well aware of what I was getting into, but... I just didn't realize that Helotilla and Casual were gonna start vibing like they are. Can I just leech seed this thing to death? He started it. You both started it. But at least you're having fun. Water bottle, water bottle. But you didn't have to join in. <laughs> okay, so I have a funny feeling we're not going to be able to really catch Tangrowths. I didn't switch. Torchic! Torchic! Okay, cool. This is something we actually really want to catch. Um, 
What's Bucknot? Is Bucknot? A yeah, Bucknot's a flying type. <sighs> Why must you rub it in? <laughs> Okay, so I'm using Bucknaw or Cleffa in the hopes that we don't straight up kill Torching this time. I did say in the hopes of. Elatilla, I'm pretty sure that's because... I, I'm not even gonna poke that one. <laughs> Does that make you fall asleep? I love the music for Gemini. I know, right, Boa? I vibe with it so much. Of course, I also have like 3,000 hours in base, Gen 4. Okay, you know Chadot's signature move. I think that was more the result of an ocean in the way. <laughs> yes, you used X Pokemon. I wish to capture this thing. Um, we'll use H2O and Worry Seed it. Oh wait, no, we can't leave Seed it. I might have made a mistake. I forgot, we can't use Leech Seed because it's immune, I think. Gen 4 has the best champion and I will fight. Yes, Boa! Cynthia! Cynthia all the way! She's also gonna crush me like a thousand times over, probably. I'll explain the Gwendolyn thing during the, the DS. Okay. He's ignoring me. <laughs> what? I can hear your loud meow, ma'am. Try poison fang. <laughs> yeah, are you happy now? Don't bite my finger, please. Curious. Do not, you know what you did. <laughs> what? Are you wanting treats? Is that why you're bugging me? You're just being a troll right now, because let's face it, Gen 4 was a really good gen. When and where? <sighs> Fine. You can have one more. <laughs> I tabbed up for a minute in this discussion about Gwendolyn and me. Oh, Chunky is coming. Uh, I don't know, but the larger one may make an appearance. All right. Um. Torchic, I have, like, three more chances to catch you. Please get them all to stay. Usually I have to call for him, not just shake the treats. Torchic, why are you like this? I can't attack you, otherwise you die. <laughs> I'm essentially super not down. You call my bluff. <laughs> Boa, you know... Casual is just a little troll. How do you. Do you just not look at Tail Whip? Is that how you dodge Tail Whip, I guess? Like, I'm just trying to lower your defense so hopefully I can catch you. Eh, fair enough, Grok. I completely understand switching devices. Oh, wait, you've been using Double Team this whole time, haven't you? This is what I get for not paying attention to the game. you go, small one? Just so I know. There you are. Okay. Just don't bite my toes this time. Alright. I really wish Cleffa hadn't fainted, because I was going to put Torchic to sleep and make this so much easier. Okay, Grog, we were fighting a Tangrowth, and Casual had to make the joke, or one of either Casual or Pelotilla had to make a joke about tentacles versus feet. I'm assuming that's what you want context on. After that, it just kind of devolved. 
I'm not even truly sure what happened. Alright. Uh, I... I feel like this is gonna kill it. If I hit it. Um, I like the... General basis, yeah. Yeah, it's super effective because we're a ground type. I sent it in Discord. Okay. Casual. Why you gotta be like this, man? Shifting to H2O just because of stat issues. It's not gonna help us hit, but. Terrified of the right shoe, but can you leave the right shoe alone? Pay attention. <laughs> okay. Well, the bad news is I have to go heal before we go through the tunnel now. Worst news I have like two Pokeballs left. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> Trainer Anne. All right, let's figure out what a Meryl is. Steel Toe, please be faster because you're gonna get one move and die. Blaze Kick? Is I'm having some real bad luck with catching Torchix right now, or catching anything right now. Well, that's a problem. Yes, so abilities are also randomized, and they make no sense most of the time. Just like my cr my Kirby Mist does Drought for its ability. All right, Needle King, carry us, carry like you've never carried before, buddy. Oh, that's a problem. <laughs> Don't miss. Well, now that thing's not gonna miss. Well, we didn't miss. Dragon, Earth, Ground, Water. Okay, read the PMs, thank you. I feel like I <laughs> somehow I didn't. <laughs> Not to send it to spinner act. Uh, we have to keep battling. One of those for Meryl. Yeah. I wasn't really paying attention to typing, I was just trying to make it faint so we could go back to heal. I'm using a. You're tied for the highest viewers in this category. <laughs> I, again, I decided to do this because we have all the, the Gen 4 remakes finally coming out, along with Legends of Arceus, which I am so much hyped for. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Uh, we're gonna be annoying and we're just gonna minimize as much as possible. Probably going to full clear Arceus on stream, yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna do it right as it drops or if I'm gonna do it a little bit after it drops. It depends. Cause I'm gonna get the physical copy. I don't want downloads of it. I like having the physical copies of Pokemon games, but that's just cause I'm a nerd. All right, um. Kirby Biss, can you come out, not die and just scream at this? Ditto. Ditto to what?
Magneto into playing Arce Legends of Arceus or something else that I missed. We lived! <laughs> yeah, Boa. Definitely Legends of Arceus and the remakes. I'm not sure on Metroid or, uh, was it Dead Space, I think? Oh, right, we're gonna scream. I don't remember this was a trainer battle and not a wild Pokemon I was trying to catch. <laughs> when in doubt, scream. Scream beam works. <laughs> the sad thing is that spin rack was only worth like 50 something XP. <laughs> oh, I forget how much level grinding is required for this version of Pokemon. Yeah, I think Metronoid is, and I know Dead Space is getting a updated remake as well. Because I saw something about the Dead Space remake today. Brain, why you do this? Go back in the Pokemon Center. We need to heal. Yes, Nurse Joy, please fix my Pokemon. Oh, Metroid Dread, okay. Sorry, Boa, I misread there. Okay, we're gonna put that Cleffa in our computer, cause because I don't wanna take the time to level it up. Oh, <laughs> it's so bad already. <laughs> don't blame me, man. Okay. So it's just one of those poor remakes that's just been infinitely delayed so many times. Oh, wait. Um, X. How much money do we have? We have enough for five more Pokeballs, so we're gonna go buy that real quick. Metroid Dreads. Rastafarian version. <laughs> Oh right, this is a generation where I can buy TMs. Please let me buy seven. I don't like having one. It's been 19 years. Nope. Just Pokeballs, please, thanks. Pulse puzzle. Yes. We need the capsules to capture the monsters. And here's the wooden trainer I missed last time. What are you doing? Should I be concerned for you, child? Hey, no. Leave the tapestry alone. Go on. Thank you. <laughs> Shove God in the ball. Make him explain him. If we find God, Drake, we will shove him, try to shove him in a ball and make him explain some things. There's also a spin-off that's based on baking. I remember there being a lot of hype around Metroid Collector's Edition for Wii, but I never knew what it was. Metroid Bread. <laughs> uh, we'll try a Shadow Ball. <laughs> what the hell, Attila? Okay, it was a crit. I was like, uh, that wasn't super effective, but all right. All oh, so close to dinging. was a Prime collection, I think, which Prime 4 is in the works as well. Also, since it was brought up, yes, Gwendolyn is cute. <laughs> Alright, Croc. <laughs> Do I wanna? Nah. I wanna, I wanna get to the next city. I don't wanna spend forever hunting grass. Why do I keep doing this? Stop confusing your arrows. <laughs> Hello, sir. Yes, I have a Poke Watch. Hidden Machine. Oh god, what's six in this one? Is it strength? Rock smash, okay. Have to have the gym in order to have it. Okay. Uh, up until St. Aldrich happened. Wait, what? 
Okay, I'm confused, you guys. I don't know what you're over there chatting about. Look what he did to my boy. Um, hello, sir. I thought you were back in between Sand Gym Town and uh, New Leaf, but apparently not. Why do you have Drizzle as your ability? There's also a sponsored mustard made by the devs. Wait. Was that? That was super effective. Okay, cool. Nice. Uh, for the record, I think we're going to be stuck with our current form group team until I get my first gym badge, and then I will hopefully be able to start catching things. Why did you do this to me? Why well, there's so many things that know how to put me to sleep? Rhyperior, please catch it. I could try, but in case you haven't noticed, tonight the game is giving me the middle finger on catch rates. Please. I can try. That's a problem. Helatilla, why? Why, Helatilla? Does it live? It lives. Okay. You guys are just over there in my chat memeing each other. I don't even get a shake. What? We may not be catching this right barrier. Probably should have spent some time leveling Kleppa. Did you know where they talk about this new release on Reddit? <laughs> Lord. Oh, come on! Do not do the three shakes and break out! Freaking tease! Teasing me, man! I will say, if we do manage to catch it, Make another venture like that, you'll keep the venture. So <laughs> visited the hood and got the venture. <laughs> uh, I will say, guys, if we actually manage to catch this, you will get to name it. So. I was doing the last one. <laughs> this right here doesn't believe in submission, does it? Okay, yeah, that's a normal type move. Cat! Why? I saw you out of the corner of my eye and you scared me. I was too. Yes, that's the new case. It's gonna break out. All three of y'all are in on this, and I want this right period, and it refuses. How many more of these do I have left? Four, okay. This is its last chance before I go ahead and just murder it. <laughs> Your chance to pull it down to see all those struggling. Yeah, we don't talk about that. We don't talk about my struggles. <laughs> also, I'm sorry, casual, we're not catching this right barrier. Steel Toe, can you do me a favor and wake up, buddy? I'm s like, I love the fact that Steel Toe and Scale Mill are both fighting steel types, but at the same time, it's a curse. need a Pokemon that has Insomnia as its ability. Steel Toe, please wake up. I will say, any Metroid-based joke names will be 
uh, ignored at this point, simply for the past 20 minutes of Metroid dad jokes. Steel Toe. Steel Toe, wake up. I will let you die, because you're asleep, and I can't wake you up. <laughs> Sadly, we're out of meds. That's why I keep having to go back to a Pokemon Center. Okay, there we go. We're dead. <laughs> the, the, now we sell out scale mail to finish this. That's what you get for not waking up, Steeltoe. You are now forever asleep. Water bottle, water bottle. There's the water bottle. Uh, yes, use the next Pokemon, please. Scale mail. Go. Uh, please kick because you're awake. Why are you just chilling there? Is it just because? All right, just give me the XP. Scale mail, please level your speed. Yes, yes, learn Iron Tail. It's better than spin up. <sighs> Wait, that one. Pokemon. This is fine. <laughs> Alright, so we have three Pokemon remaining to get through the tunnel with. <laughs> and I don't remember how many trainers. <laughs> As Hella Tilla admits that the horse is thoroughly beaten, Boa comes in with one more just a second before. <laughs> hey look, Aratatata. Go our mini god. Why does this rat have Intimidate as an ability? Pokemon Randomizer, you make no sense sometimes. Okay, you're resistant, which makes me think you're a poison type. Uh, we're just gonna go re. I don't even know why I bothered with Poison Fang. We're just gonna scream at it. Rock type? Dread or names. Eh, fair enough, Boa. Alright, moving on. Wait, what is this noise? Oh no, don't! Oh, come on! I have like four Pokeballs! Oh, Jesus! What? <laughs> I'm being trolled by the game! Poison Fang, please don't be a steel type! Oh no, I poisoned it! Uh, good and bad! Good! Oh, shoot! Oh no, no, no! Um. <laughs> Legit, not gonna lie, was not anticipating running into another god! One Melty Boy has appeared. Yes, yes it has. And we're gonna do our best to catch it before it dies. And I think we have four Pokeballs to do so. Oh, I'm so glad to be a ground type. <laughs> yeah, we gotta start. Oh, we only have three chances, ooh. Game, please be nice. Please be nice and let him stay. Oh man. Mistakes. <laughs> I don't control when these guys appear, they just appear. Oh, does that lower? Yes, his defense fell. Okay, cool. That should give us a better chance. 
everyone panic. <laughs> uh, cue the one scene from, I think, what is it, The Office? Everyone stay calm! <laughs> but it's fine, honey. Yes, I know, I'm freaking out a little bit. You're concerned. Dude, get the ball and stay, please. Wait, wait, does that mean it gets to run? Does that mean it gets to run? Okay, no, thank goodness. If I remember correctly, you turn in a party switches it after it hits. So I thought it might be able to run from that. Oh. All right, last chance, guys. Oh. Please, please. Nope, nope, oh man. The good news is, I think it can just appear randomly elsewhere on the map if it dies. It doesn't leave the game forever, I think. Oh, I could have waited a turn. Oh man, I feel so dumb. Like this would have been the perfect time. We're just gonna use poison fix. I don't have any more Pokeballs. <laughs> nah, it changes nothing. <laughs> This worked almost 200 XP at level 6. Red health is red health. Yeah, but I mean, it literally had 1 HP left. Um, oh, right, I have to click back into that tab. Uh, we're gonna switch, because we have a trainer battle coming up. Uh, so yeah, I didn't realize it was gonna actually play the serious music when a random legendary spawned, so now I know. Yeah, free XP. Well, I'm going to do my best to have a stockpile of Pokeballs, which should hopefully be decent after we get our first gym badge, because gym leaders usually pay pretty nice compared to what I'm currently finding. Hey, you have a Mankey. Uh, Leech Seed, just in case. Now we go sky attack. Okay, I gotta go do something that isn't this. Good luck on stream. All right, we'll catch you later, casual. Best people to fight are the old rich. Yeah, but I gotta get to the old rich parts, Bo. That's the problem. We'll catch you later, casual. Good luck with whatever you gotta go do. very effective, but it's still enough. <laughs> Coughing. No, we're gonna leave H2O out to fight. Which, for the record, the Nido King's name is H2O because he's a poison water type. And when we caught him, my stream literally broke last night. So, yeah. Doesn't Gen 4 have Agent Looker running around in it? The, like, Doctor Who inspired character? Or is that a fever dream? Or a different generation? Good H2O. Yeah, because you're using a final evo though. Yeah. Oh, there's still more people to fight. All right. Oh no. Okay, you're just the. Okay, this is just the dude who's explaining. You don't think Looker's in for? Okay. I I can't remember which one he's in, because usually he's just something that you go find. I just know that he exists because I've seen him a couple times. I know he's the next one. Yeah, I remember him being. Hi, Barry. Can we're gonna go heal? Cause I don't trust Barry not to fight me. Oh no. 
Did I get where the gym? Oh, there's the Pokemon Center. Okay. Yes, I would like to rest my Pokemon or destroy. Thank you. Thank you for waiting. The morbidness of... We hope to see you again when your job is healing Pokemon. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Of course, Barry's gonna... Yeah, that's why I went and healed real quick, is because I... Barry is one to always fight. Huh? Oh, it's you, Wolf. You finally got here? You're slow, like always. Dude, I don't run around at Mach 10. You're so slow, the gym leader's long gone now. He said he had to go, uh... Oh yeah, to the mine. I got my badge already, so it's no big deal to me, but... By you even when he's massively outgunned. So, funny thing about that, his team is also randomized, and he doesn't have to keep his starter. Also, I think there's an item? No, okay. I couldn't remember if there was an item hiding right there or not. I think... Yeah, this is towards the mine. Wait. Do you have something to give me? Uh, so the inputs are just how this emulator works. I haven't figured out how to hide them yet without, like, massively resetting any current save file that I have. So I've just kind of left the inputs up on the screen. Also, because of how this thing's configured, my brain's kind of dumb sometimes. Uh, this is a Desmune. I don't have Pokeballs! <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to the music! <laughs> Why? <laughs> Two legendaries in a row, and I don't have Pokeballs. Oh, this is painful. Oh my gosh. Uh, as I was saying, Hilatilla, as I... You're a grass type. <laughs> this one emulator is compiled, or compiled by Desmune, and it's specifically for the DS. And it's the best one that I could find that would actually run the Pokemon Diamond version really well. Okay, so the Sand Shrew is a Fighting Steel type, because all the types are randomized. Like, apparently this Giratina is Grass or Ice type or Bug type. So, we're gonna switch, because I actually want Steel Toe to get a XP off of this fight. Everything but the move typing, because I couldn't process that much randomization. <laughs> I couldn't process Zap Cannon being a dragon type move instead of an electric type move. That's a grass type move, and I threw out a ground type. Oh, we just have to hope we're faster than it. We go re, because I can't catch it. Legendaries, but I literally have no Pokeballs to even attempt catching it with. Okay, your speed's going up slowly. Kirby Bis, you love putting everything into HP, and I'm fine with this. Okay. I would appreciate it if this game would stop trolling me for more than 10 seconds. Which way is he? I think he's this way. See, Sword and Shield... And we have Pseudo-Legendary. Sword and Shield random... Yeah, like... Oh my gosh, that'd be so much fun. Ha! Ah, joke's on you, I'm a Steel-type! <laughs> okay, maybe not. Type randomizers I've seen they have, but I think the issue with those is the fact that it tells you, oh, this is super effective. Are you holding leftovers? Why are you holding a toxic orb, Arcanine? Whatever. Alright, still so swap out because I need you to actually get XP. Yeah, we're 
good steal. Oh, let's try a blaze kick. They have to do the type of spot. Regular damage there. With a crit. Um, power whip. Hey, you're like the second thing tonight, no trump card. Yeah, Iron Tail. They're called legendary Pokemon in their Pokedex entries. That makes you three for three. <laughs> Sorry, hit a po -po. Uh, so Grok, we've seen a heat ran that we failed to catch. We then immediately ran into a Giratina, which I had no Pokeballs to attempt to catch, and we're currently fighting an Arcanine, which is technically a legendary, but not a legendary. So my last three encounters have been technically legendary Pokemon, and it's painful. Well, you're about to die to your own poison or Melty Boy Acre Pokeball Satan showed up to taunt her, and now this. <laughs> yeah, I forgot Giratina's technically Pokemon Satan. <sighs> How bad off is my party? Alright, we're gonna switch to the healthy one, and we're gonna go heal, and. I don't think I can. I haven't fought any more trainers except for one. At least it's not a legendary. Nope, it's just a Snorlax instead. What is with this mine? I don't... I don't even know what to do anymore with this. Good. Good crit. 200 XP for you, buddy. Sad thing is, I think if I get you over level 15, you're gonna stop listening to me. Speed <laughs> Yeah, apparently. Please go out the mine. Thank you. Satan, do not attack me. I need to go heal. Ah. <laughs> uh. Thank you. Okay, uh... Menu... Nope, not bag. One more. We have enough money for one Pokeball. We're gonna suffer without Pokeballs for a little while longer. We'll wait till after we beat the gym leader. Sephardus, I can't even remember his name because it's been like seven years since I've touched Diamond and Pearl. What? No, not another legendary! Is it Satan again? It's Satan again! <laughs> Told you they'd be back! <laughs> Apparently I should have bought the one Pokeball I could afford to buy. Well, at least I know where Satan lives. <laughs> that also means Melty Boy spawns back in that tunnel. So I know what we're hunting as soon as I can buy Pokeballs again. Oh, how can you miss? Oh, thank you. Thunder, don't hit. Thunder would hurt. He's a water type. I was joking. <laughs> no, he just lives in this mine now. It's his. That's why the gym leader's in the mine. He's just trying to make Satan go away. Regular hunt or shiny hunt? Probably regular. I... The 
randomizer's already testing my sanity. Let's not add shiny hunting to the mix. Almost a ding. Okay, I need to switch him back. Because he's by far the strongest thing in my party, but I need to work on actually leveling the sand shrews. Because they should evolve at level 22, I think. Arcanine or Snorlax? Arcanine. Whatever Satan is, he's scared of birds. I think he was also weak to fire, so that would put him, I want to say Bugger Grass, for at least one of his types, because he probably has two. I mean, he might not, but we're just going to scream because I want to get through this. I want to fight the gym leader and stop being tormented by Satan. Interesting. <laughs> okay, yeah, it doesn't take damage from being poisoned. Okay. I think that's what Casual had told me last night, but I never double-checked to make sure that that was the same thing for this version. Because I know, like, Horsey is 32 to get to Cedra, and then... Which, okay, so for any Pokemon that has to be, like, holding something and traded, I have that turned off to where it should evolve with levels, by the way, for the randomizer. Just a heads up on that. Okay, Arcanine down. I feel like Arcanine's poison type, possibly, but I don't know why it's being poisoned and then not taking poison damage. What is this item? Choice scarf. That would have been nice if that was a master ball, because then I would have go hunt down Satan. Hi, sir. Can can you go back to the gym so we can fight you? Right. They actually give you a tutorial for HMs. Yes, I know that'd be you. You're the one person who doesn't look like every other sprite here. Arcanine or Snorlax? Arcanine. but whenever that poison fang went up, I just had the picture of the snow leopard holding its tail in its mouth and, like, being pleased with itself. I don't know. off recoil and poison damage because whatever that is apparently this arcanine has it either that or it's a glitch which is totally possible but i've seen other things take recoil damage and be poisoned and take it damage so arcanine's the only thing i've seen immune to it speed. Yeah. Tail whip, because then swagger becomes viable. For every second badge, the maximum level of Pokemon Bay increases. Yeah. I know I'm kind of skirting that line right now, and that's scary because two of my Pokemon are technically final stages, so they could just start refusing me. 
it's not the greatest. Because diamond, pearl, and platinum, you have to level grind. You can't just go from place to place to place. Hi, Snorlax. If you do, you're going to have some tough fights. I learned that the hard way with my very first playthrough, and I remember Cynthia just curb stomping me. It's going to be funny, though, if the game lets Cynthia keep one of her Garchomps from the randomizer. Why? Why you got no confused, right? Scale mail, buddy, please don't hurt yourself. Yeah, that's why Torterra is a godsend. Yeah. If we find a Turtwig or a Grottle or a Torterra and we have Pokeballs, I will do my best to catch one. But apparently the catch gods are not with us tonight because I've made so many attempts. Right, we're a steel type. Yeah. Funny enough, Church Week was my uh, first starter for my first playthrough. And I always power level my starters because they're my, my starters. Why did I send out my other one when I know it's a skill type and it knows Heat Wave? Brain. Why you why you do this to me? Just please kick it and try to kill it. Maybe you'll get lucky and get a crit. No. <laughs> Game said no. I did the same thing. Yeah, right? It was just ingrained to me from every other Pokemon game that power leveling your starter is like the best thing ever to do. And so yeah, I love Turtwig. I started with a Turtwig. I want your XP, dude. I know you're worth a lot of XP, but man. Uh, yeah, so I started with Turtwig, and I power leveled the tar out of him. The city up in the snows, I forget what it's called. Like, I spent day, literal days up there power leveling him the first time I got my teeth kicked in. I just kind of bold through the search. Yeah, Turtwig's really good, like, just to power level through the game with, in all reality. You know, when he's his normal typing. For all we know, Turtwig may be like an ice type now. The only person who has their actual normal starter in the game is Lucas, and he has a Chimchar. Alright, dude, I'm just gonna run. I don't. I don't have time for this. I just wanna go fight the gym leader and get our first badge. So we can buy some Pokeballs and maybe come down back down in here and catch Satan. Let's face it, having Satan on our team would be hilarious. I didn't power level on purpose, I just never took the Turtwig half slot one. <laughs> uh, I feel that. I don't think my Turtwig left slot one until after the fourth or fifth gym, and then I actually had to start leveling the rest of my team. Alright, so we're gonna double save real quick, and then we're gonna go fight for our first gym badge at almost three hours of gameplay. Man, I forgot how much of a crawl this one is. Alright, so we save there, and then save state, save over one, take that off the screen. And now we're gonna go to the gym. Hey look, Barry's not blocking the gym. We didn't have to fight him this one time. So, guess I'm gonna fight the other guys before we fight the gym leader. A, to see if I'm level appropriate. B, extra XP is always a good thing for the most part. Gentleman Crystal. I wish calling them gentlemen made them pay out more, but they don't. We have a level 10 Snubble. What type is Snubble? Let's find out. 
blaze kick. Alright. Good thing I don't really believe in items. That was regular damage? The only actual threat for Turtwig line before the E4 is... Yeah, Candace is rough for Turtwigs. It's not very effective either. Yeah. Okay, that's not very effective. I heard that one. Uh, let's try Iron Tail then. So he's strong against grass. Fire's normal type damage. Steel is normal type damage. That's gonna hurt. Not as bad, okay. <laughs> Double down. Skin Bell hits level 10. I guess if you evolve too quickly, Maylene or Crasher can cause problems. Yeah, but I mean, that's the weird thing with Gen 4 though, is that most of your starters honestly evolved naturally a little bit later versus earlier generations, if I remember correctly. Turtwig evolve until like 22 or something like that. That's when I let it evolve into Grottle. Okay, you have a not to. Blaze kick. Ugh. Man, I hate adjusting the new glasses. Is that super effective? Yeah, it was. Alright, cool. So. Ice, bug, or grass. We miss. Man, this game, I don't know what it is, but these sand troops have a hard time like consecutively hitting sometimes. Like I understand when things are using double team or minimize, but other times not so much. Okay, accuracy fell. It's alright, we still hit. Not too painted. Roselia. Eh, we'll keep battling. For the E4, Cynthia, my solution was a liberal application of wood hammer and leech seed, <laughs> right? Leech Seed, I feel like, is an underrated move sometimes. We're gonna try Iron Tail. Okay. <laughs> I love moves where you can, like, consistently at the end of every turn set just parasite away some of your opponent's health and give it back to yourself. It can be really useful. It's also why, like, my favorite two items for my Pokemon to hold are, like, Shell Bell and Leftovers. I prefer Leftovers more, but, eh, Shell Bell's a good one. Yeah, yeah, Cynthia was definitely a frenzy plant. Especially because she usually had one turn before the Garchomp just nuked you. <laughs> Which was funny if you managed to get lucky with a uh, Turtwig starter that had super high speed, because... He would go before the guard chomp if he were lucky, and he would just wreck it. We'll try Power Whip. Okay, that wasn't very effective. Can I get a blaze kick off? Scale Mill Buddy just. Finish it here and you'll rotate to the back of the party and not have to deal with the leader. 
hopefully. I had used like two PP ups and my server was extra tanky. Yeah. Yeah, I'm one of those people who I will hoard any PP up I find until uh, like right before the Elite Four and then whatever I feel like are my linchpin moves that are like super low use, I'll just PP up them as much as possible. Alright, we're gonna switch you out. Nope, not summary. Back. We're gonna put you all the way at the back. Seven uses. Jeez, like, Frenzy Plant's nice and all. My only issue with High Roark is, like, I love super powerful moves, but I hate the ones that have recharge because it's so painful just to sit there for a turn and take whatever they do to you. Performer Jasmine. All right, guys, Rourke's name is now Jasmine. And there's a Beldum. What was your fourth move? We're gonna start off with a Blaze Kick just to see if it kept steel. Well, it kept something that didn't like fire. Do not pull out my other one. Oh, thank you. I kept tackle from the start to the end. <laughs> I mean, it's an option. <laughs> also, tackle's actually nice to have on a higher level Pokemon just because it won't usually nuke something you're trying to catch on accident. Uh, we'll try Poison Fang. Okay. I think it's a bug type. because it's weak to fire, but resistant to poison. So I think it's a bug type. I hate being stalled. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm like 80% sure one type on this Veldum is a bug if it's not a pure bug. Why? Why you gotta use a potion, man? It's your first Pokemon. <laughs> Enough. Tackle is the solution to being stalled. Hyper Beam? We miss? Oh no, it doesn't affect it. Oh, so he's a ghost bug. Huh. Which one? Okay, still toe came back out. Whew. <laughs> Not a good solution, but a solution nonetheless. I mean, you're right. <laughs> I guess we're just gonna blaze kick this thing. Ultimate is now Shininja, <laughs> apparently. At least it doesn't have speed boost, I guess. Dude, why with the whirlwinds? I'm waiting for him to bring out the weeks. And oh, there it is. <laughs> I don't have good faith that the Sandshrew is faster than the Beldum. <laughs> Scale Mill has some really low speed. Oh no, it died to poison. Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah, no, see, I explicitly banned it from having Wonder Guard until later in the game because I hate dealing with Wonder Guard so early in the game. It's not a fun time, it's just a beat your head against the wall time. Clamperl. Fight. Uh, have I fought a Clamperl yet? I don't think so. Okay, bug type move. I'm not too worried. Where's my water? Here's my water. See, I don't want to imagine it. But at least it's not a possibility until, like, the 50, 60 level zone. I think that's when Wonder God becomes available to certain Pokemon. I can't remember if I banned it completely or not. This is a second potion to use. <laughs> I 
There we go. That's better. <laughs> so that's number two. I can't remember if he has four or three. Yay, level 11. <sighs> Steel toe. Speed and attack, buddy. Please. Almost to 12. Jesus, okay. Weebin Bell. Uh, no. Okay, yeah, he only has three. Ooh. I mean, possibly? This is in place of your cranny dose. Or no, his Rambardos. I forgot, he had a Rambardos at the start of the game. He started with cranny dose and then had a Rambardos. So we... Yeah, yeah, you're completely right there, Boa. Like I said, Wonder Guard is uh, painful on a good day. Let's try Blaze Kick since Ghost didn't do anything. Let's defend order. Defense. Okay, well, that makes sense. Also resistant to fire. Okay, so we're resistant to fire and ghost type. We'll try Iron Tail next. Yeah, like if I have it, that's hilarious, but the chances of me not getting it and my opponents getting it is astronomically higher. <laughs> it missed, okay. So we'll have to try that again. So what's resistant to ghost and fire? Or what two type combinations are, I guess, is the question. Because usually resistant to ghost is dark, I think? Also, this thing also knows Iron Tail. Why do you have half the moves I have? Okay, resistant to steel. So far, the sweeping bill is resistant to everything I've hit it with. Let's try Power Whip. Oh, that's how it's using Iron Tail. Okay, it was copycat. But still, let's... Okay, weak to grass! So, water? Water something else? I really want you to get the XP off of this. We're just gonna scream at it and hopefully that'll be enough. Every time I see the hyper beam, I just think of the seagull beam. Oh, it lived. No. <laughs> and we got poisoned. Oof. Okay. Uh, so I know one type is water. I don't think it'll be a poison immune. So we'll just hit with poison fang here in two turns because I have to recharge. Oh, thankfully. I was scared I was about to get hyper beamed back. Fight. Poison Fang. Please end the misery. Yay, there we go. Sweet, so there's our first gym badge. One of eight. now for at least nine Pokeballs. 
Yeah, that's what I was thinking was water dark. I know it was definitely water at one. Oh yes, the coal badge. Oh right! I forgot about it. This is a version with some neat fun thing that you can do. Um, what is this supposed to be? It does not contain stealth rock. I, I'll tell you right now, bud, that doesn't contain stealth rock. Dark is the only thing resistant to ghosts. Okay. <laughs> it contains rage. <laughs> yeah, I know normal's completely immune. All right, so who can we teach Rock Smash to since we're gonna need that here in a second? Everybody. Let's teach it to H2O. Yes. Uh, we'll get rid of Worry Seed because I... There's very few things that's worth making it to where they can't fall asleep. gonna go heal, hopefully before Kirby Biss faints. And then we're gonna go buy Pokeballs and see if we can't catch Satan. <laughs> he would like the type effectiveness checker. the watch, which I don't have that app yet. All I have is the step counter, um, the calculator, the clock, and the, like, team status. No great balls. Okay, so just Pokeballs. Well, yeah. We'll buy the 11 and get a primer ball. I don't, can't remember if it was this one or X and Y, but, uh, Okay. So, I'm gonna have to actually do something here. I have to check the map, because it's been years since I've played this version. Okay, so we have Jubilife. Okay, no. Hearth Home City? Do we go to Hearth Home City that early, or is it a turn and up and over? I think it's a turn and up and over, okay. items in this city. Okay, so yeah, this dude's talking about shinies. They're talking about nature's there. Yes, the Potokai being progress logged was fine on the first playthrough where I was unaware of their existence. <laughs> I know, right? And then once you knew they existed, you're like, give it to me. Give it to me now. Why can't I have this now? Yeah, right? <laughs> There's just a little bit of salt that, like, New Game Plus didn't exist where you got to keep all your apps. I'm just kind of exploring because it's been a hot minute since I've been in this region. Wait, is there hiding something back here? Haha! <laughs> Free Super Potion! I'm also going to go back down in the mine and go to the left, because I never went left down here. No? Okay. Let's see if we get attacked by Satan again. Well, it's not Satan! <laughs> Hi, sir! Ma'am? What was happening? Oh, I hit the pause button, that's what was happening. Shut 
Shadow Ball. Special. Isn't that a legendary move? All right, that's not cool, man. At least it wasn't a magnitude 10. I'm going to toss one Pokeball at you. Only one. Just to see if I can catch you. My base stuff was aggravating, but the Pokétech extra stuff was annoyingly useful, and now I no longer have them. Yeah, right? Like, those, like, progress locked apps were so useful. <laughs> Polyworld's a fighting type. But then not having them for the rest of the game, like, when you went to play through again until you unlocked them again, was super irritating. Okay, uh, name suggestions for our fighty girl here. To anyone who's still watching her in chat. Because, uh, I've nicknamed everything else so far. Ex yeah, I even nick I hit no, it has a nickname too. Be? We can name her Be. At least it's not a dad joke name. I that's not what I wanted. <laughs> I'm terrible with names. <laughs> I mean, Orc, I'm going to point this out. I have a Hypno in my box named Boom Puff because it's a fire type. It knows no fire type moves, but its name is Boom Puff. Ah, no. Let's be proper with this. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. The only reason I don't carry it around with me is because it can't evolve, and I didn't want to put the effort into leveling it because I started with a Pokemon that can't evolve, so I'm trying to be cautious of that. Not a god, it's just an Arcanine. Did we ever actually figure out Arcanine's typing? Or are we still troubleshooting that one? Oh, let's get it off screen. Shadow Ball, I guess. I'm not gonna lie, these Arcanines have a decent move base, so I kinda want one. Even though, again, it can't evolve. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. I I'm pretty sure if she could have a fighting type poly roll in her team, she would have. Do I have something that isn't gonna kill you? We'll try Iron Tail. I'm really curious what its ability is. We'll see. We'll probably run into another one down here if this one doesn't live. Oh. Does it take poison damage? See? This one's taking poison damage. So I don't know what's going on there. Oh, jeez. Do not hit the volume control on the back of your headphones. Okay. So. Let's go. I wanted to go to the left. Apparently, I'm not allowed to go to the left. <laughs> Apparently this one wanted its revenge. Let's just try a Shadow Ball again and see if we can get it low health. Round two. I know, right? It's like, no, man, I wasn't done. Try again. to ghost, which I think means you're either a ghost or a psychic type. Do I have any berries? Nope. You know what? Just because. James has sent Growlithe after you and Growlithe's not leaving until... <laughs> 
<laughs> He's got your pro, come on. <laughs> I... Okay, so the anime episode with James and Growly's backstory was adorable and sad all at the same time. I have no idea why they're all carrying a toxic orb. I'm not going to question it, though. Because... Hopefully, it'll get in the ball and stay, and we don't have to worry about it. Yes! Okay. Finally starting to catch things now. Now that the uh, current legendaries are leaving us alone. <laughs> They're like, oh, she has Pokeballs. Let's not spawn anymore. <laughs> Psychic electric type. Okay. Yes, we must name her in all of her gloriousness. Psychic electric type Arcanine. Take that toxic orb. And let's check out its moves. So, Psychic Electric, Rash Nature, capable of taking hits, and likes dry food. Yeah, I know, right? Effect Spore. Contact may paralyze poison or cause sleep. How has that never gone off on me yet? X scissor trump card aqua tail and double edge. That's honestly not that bad. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> oh wait, right, I need a wrong button. <laughs> Sadly, it's going to faint before we get out of this mine, but Okay, nope. Survived poisoning. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, definitely an interesting moveset for sure. I know who's getting that. <laughs> but it depends on when they evolve. Uh, let's see. We're gonna switch you in scale mail, because... Is that... Yeah, that's essentially everything down here. Wow. So I think what my plan's gonna be is... Oh, you don't have... Mm, okay. <sighs> I forgot you were the wild caught level 3, so you already got rid of Shadow Ball. See, that one just used double edge and didn't take recoil damage. So I'm really confused on why they're not taking recoil damage on some of them. And right there, it didn't take poison damage. And then, I cannot remember what ability that is, because it's obviously an ability. You know what? We give it one chance to get in the ball and stay. Just because I want to know what the ability is. Okay. I'm not wasting Pokeballs on you. Oh, hit the wrong button. Have I checked the Polyworld's move set? Or did we just name it Move On? Buddy, why, why do you have the harvest time hitting anything? Thank you. I think we named it move. Okay, we'll double check that one's move set here in a second. I have to remember to do that because I'm used to. Oh yeah, cool! I caught a Harley World and then moving on. 
yeah, Skill Mill has a ridiculously low speed stat. Like, my other sentry is also low, but this one is, like, 9 with this plus 1. No, it finally hit 10. Okay, so it was 10. Or 9. Okay, um... Pokemon. Summary. Okay, so yeah, fighting type. Full nature scatters things like sour food. Chlorophyll. Boosted speed and sunshine. Well, good thing I didn't use... Kirby Biss. I'm sorry, what's your moveset? <laughs> uh, yeah, no, we didn't... I think speed can affect accuracy, Boa. But, um... What's this moveset? Heals everything... Tears along the foe with... Yeah, yeah, this is the specialty one for Dialga. Yeah, I, I know, right? Like, <laughs> why does this have this moveset? This is amazing. <laughs> I know, right? Like, it has a legendary move. Because <laughs> isn't spa uh, Spatial Rend, um, Palkia? Isn't that Palkia's special move, or is that a Giratina move? I can't remember. But yeah. <laughs> Hammer, Arm, and Magnitude. <laughs> All right, um, so I'm pretty sure this is staying in the party no matter what. Palkia? Okay. I didn't play Pearl, I had Diamond for the longest time, and then I did one playthrough, I believe, of Platinum, realized it was essentially the same game with no real improvements in my mind, and just made me mad. Arcanine, not right now. Not right now. We need to go heal our two new ones and we'll level them up some. Why? Wow. Next, you'll tell me it gets Roar of Time and Judgment on level up. <laughs> if it gets all three, we're changing her name. We're changing it to just God, okay? <laughs> or can I use Cyanide Tablet? <laughs> Yeah, but again, it's not taking poison damage, and I don't know what the special ability is that's negating recoil damage and poison damage, which is the only reason why I want to catch this one, but I don't want to waste time on it either. Oh, thank you. Alright, let's 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 see if Satan decides to jump us as we leave the mine this time. Probably not. Okay, fair enough. I need to actually play Explorers of Sky. I always wanted to and just never did. Of course, every used copy of it that I found was still 60 bucks. So yeah, as we move on to the next town, we're gonna level up that Arcanine and that Poliwhirl. <laughs> Matter of fact, let's go put Poliwhirl up front. Yeah. It always looked really good, and I played through, uh, was it Mystery Dungeon We Rescue Team, and I really liked that one. But not everyone did, so I could find that one used a lot cheaper than I could some of the other ones. Oh, okay. Is there something in the apartment building? I can't remember. We'll just talk to people and see if anyone gives me anything. You remind me so much of the time I got my first Pokemon. Okay. Magic Guard, is that what the ability is? Okay. I mean, we were just training in the mine, but Satan lives in the mine, good sir. Don't recommend the remakes. Sure, I'll take a free Great Ball. Prevents indirect damage, but not the actual condition. Okay. Not one that I run into regularly. I think that's normally, I think, a Milotic thing. Mr. Scientist, do you have anything for me? Nope. Okay. Well, worth coming in here. We got a free Great Ball. 
Okay. Fair enough. That makes a lot of sense. I was just, like, losing my mind, though, because I wasn't fully paying attention because I was chatting. And I was like, wait, that didn't take damage when it should have and was just really confused. Uh, 207. All right, let's see what's out here. Oh, there's an item. Okay, bright powder. Abra can get it, too. Okay, yeah. Oh, can I get up to the berries, or do I have to get the bike first? Good lord. <laughs> What? <laughs> um, okay. Hi, Lucario. <laughs> How you been, buddy? <laughs> okay, well, it has traces this ability. Let's try Magnitude. Magnitude 8, okay. Send it like normal damage? Normal damage, okay. Secret power grass? Yeah. Fight. Hammer arm. Hurry, babe. <laughs> hammer arm, hammer arm. Is ghost immune to fighting? Screw it, spatial run. I think in Gen 4, ghost was the only thing immune to fighting. I think Ghost is immune to normal and fighting types. Alright, well, let's try... Oh, okay, buddy. That, that might be a bit much. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, okay. to me to do this. Okay. Alright, well this Lucario has chosen to uh, not walk away from this fight. That hurt us because we were fighting type. No! Our god in training has passed out. Alright. Yes! Yes we will because your XP. try bug, bug move. Not very effective, but enough to make it pass out. As sad as I am that we're getting a lot of Pokemon that can't evolve, I'm enjoying the fact that they're worth decent XP, all things considered. Do you show me how this works? Ah, oh, yeah, we have to go to Eternity City. Okay. Question now becomes how do I get to Eterna City if I can remember? Do I go back? I have to go back up to Juve Live up and around, don't I? Okay, yeah. Ah, the joys of attempting to remember. Because I, I, I seriously think it's been at least six game uh, six years since I've touched a Gen 4 game. And it, I want to say it's been about seven years since I actually played through a Gen 4 game. Six years ago, I was just completing the Pokedex visa via the GTS. Oh, there's Barry. The gives away gym badges. I mean, you can earn them. I honestly am shocked that we did not just fight Mary because normally that's what we do. time. I feel like, I feel like him using them for XP is more important right now. It also weirds me out that that thing goes seed bomb. Not very effective? No, just regular effective. Okay. We only want the Melty Boy or Satan. Yeah, exactly. Uh... Or, you know... 
What is Darkrai referred to? Ghosty boy? Or is he just Nightmare? I can't remember. Oh, you're weak to fighting. You're dead to fighting, okay. Nightmare, I think. Okay. Seed? <laughs> okay, so it's not... I... Isn't Seed Flare Shaman's move? Aromatherapy, you're useful, but at the same time, not. <laughs> I think Seed Flare is Shaman's specialty move. Oh, man. What is up with this polyworld? <laughs> yes. Break it in a rock. No, okay. Yeah, that's shame. <laughs> so we have two legendary signature moves on one Pokemon. I literally came down here to rock smash and get like free item. Hello, Delcaddy. Okay, you're only a level nine. That's not too bad. Magnitude. I uh, I feel bad for the still caddy. Okay, you're resistant to ground. Metronome. Okay, I feel less bad for the still caddy now. I'm picturing it, but I'm not picturing it at the same time. I think I know which one you're talking about, though. Okay, you're also resistant to fighting. I, I feel like I should have used Seed Flare. Please do not hurt me. Never mind. Well, Bay. We'll heal you later, hun. <laughs> this Polyworld does such good moves, but it's a fighting type. It just keeps getting dunked on. Fight. Aqua Tail. That'll work. up whenever it used Trick Room, because I think it swapped our speed with something else, which is why we started missing. I think this is a version where I can get jumped by smashing rocks. Like that. Oh no, it's just another Del Caddy. ability paralyzes it, that'd be amazing. certain stats. I know it can mess with speed. And it's supposed to make the slower Pokemon go first. <laughs> okay, a shiny stone. 
I don't have anything that evolves with that right now. No, I just want to get to the other Pokeball. I might be thinking of another move that actually like swaps skill or stats around. Let's try Bug Scissor just because. Okay, so resistant to Bug, Fighting, and Ground. Okay, well, that just turned off my ability. I need to get like a little chart for older gen typings and resistances, so I can just kind of go, oh, it's this. Because a lot of Pokemon with the randomizer are now like dual typed. I know, right? <laughs> well, at least our Arcanine's getting levels. Our poor Poliwhirl isn't allowed to be conscious, really. whistle? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Can I get jumped by something that's not a Delcaddy? As fun as y'all are to fight, and I need the XP technically, I really don't want to keep dealing with you. Ah! It's not like you'll let me catch you. Like, technically I'm not even supposed to be down here. I just came down here because I could. And I knew there was items. Hey, a shuckle! Guys, we found the most broken Pokemon in existence! Alright, thank you, Boa. Wait, did you keep your rock typing, Chuckle? try to catch it just because yeah, shuckle. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie I love watching people like base game just troll with a shuckle it's hilarious it's just like watching people troll the elite four with a team of magic carps typing is. Okay. It's a ground ghost type? Okay. Yes, because everything's been named so far. Just because he makes, uses berries to ferment juice in a shell, we're gonna name him Mead. Because he essentially makes mead. Is there anything else for me to get down here? Yeah, I know, right? Delcaddy. <laughs> I doubt you will let me catch you. And I know the minute I'm low on Pokeballs or I'm out of Pokeballs, that's when the Melty Boy will spawn again. I 
feel like it's taunting me. I, I legit feel like this Delcaddy is taunting me. I have one Aqua Tail left. You know what? Just because. Just because we're gonna chunk a Pokeball at it. Like, I couldn't get better conditioning if I wanted to. Sweet! Okay. Fighting bug type. So, it's a Heracross? It does not keep a nest. Interesting. Yes. here because we found the items that we can get to for now and we'll make our way back to Jubilive City heal up and we'll make our way to the next town and yes right now I'm just walking in the hopes that we don't get jumped unless it's Melty Boy I, I will take another Melty Boy or a Torchic oh right there's stuff back there too Here's a long chain of moves that to on to us. All these power-ups from one Pokemon to another until we hit Focus Sash Magic Carp with Flail. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. But let me raise you this. A Magic Carp that knows Hyper Beam. Torchic's a Dark type? Or a Grass type? item. Hey, a great ball. Cool. Slowly, we build up to catch Melty Boy and Satan once again the next time we see them. Okay, well, I can't use x Scissor on you. I'm out of Aqua Tail. I guess Trump Card. Catch that Torchic. One day. Alright, let's go give Bay back some consciousness. Yes, please. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna grab some water. just taunting me by constantly spawning in Torchix and then not letting me catch them. Alright. So, I'm not sure. I don't think I've battled anybody. Yeah, no, I haven't. Okay. This is going to constantly be a problem where I don't have money. Oh! Our introduction to the bad guys, finally! Miscreants are babbling utter nonsense, and I just can't stomach. 
Show them manners, if you will. <laughs> oh man, Pokemon Professor, must you be just so difficult? We're approaching you strictly as businessmen. What is your business plan other than kidnapping Pokemon and trying to wipe this world from, well, wipe this universe from existence? Frame from causing massive damage to your system. Why are you threatening Lucas? He has his own Pokemon. <laughs> he has a Chimchar that knows Psycho Cut. Scribe Noel and Scribe. Apparently, Team Galactic are now just scribes. Okay. We'll be nice and not kill Broach on accident. Okay, Slugma doesn't like water. Noted. That's still the same. Yeah, it really is in Diamond. Especially because the randomizer really makes you ghost type. It really makes me want to catch a lot more Pokemon just to get a confirmation that yes, this is this type. Alright, well, let's just magnitude it. Yeah, it's definitely a ghost type for that Silcoon. Well, Lucas just carried us to that whole battle. But our Polyworld hit level 10. Oh, goodness gracious. Hey, we have enough for four more Pokeballs. Because Team Galactic is benevolent to all, we shall leave. Um. I'm sorry if I keep taking my headset off. My neighbor has a new dog, and so occasionally it'll bark, and it throws me off every time because I get the slightest muffle of the bark. And I always forget that they have a dog now. I know, right? That's the one thing I hate about like the after-game battle towers and stuff, where they're like, oh, you have to partner with a electronic NPC because you don't have friends. And... <laughs> it's so annoying, because there's like one good one out of the whole group, and then everybody else is just like, I'm gonna do the status thing, and I'm like, that's cool, but we're gonna be dead before that combo's done. That was very good, nicely done. Wait, who are you? Oh, Jubilife TV. Right, the fashion case is a thing in Gen 4. We get to play dress up with our Pokemon. Watch their appeal grow. <laughs> now I really want to go catch Satan just to dress it up. All right, well, first things first, we have money for Pokeballs, so that's what we're gonna go spend our money on because that's all I ever spend my money on in Diamond is Pokeballs. I could be smart, but eh, I'd rather buy Pokeballs. Nope, we're good. All right. Now we leave Jubilife City and head north. And we have about 40 minutes. Once Drake's live, is it Riley? I think Riley had something that just kept healing moves on you. I I can't remember. It's It's been seven-ish years since I did a serious playthrough. Like I said, the, when I say six years ago, that's when I was logging onto the GTS constantly because I had internet and I could actually trade for the Pokemon I was missing in the Pokedex of X. I love the GTS's existence simply because that allowed me to finish a Pokedex for the first time in my life, which made me so happy. Magnitude! I fought an interim male before, and I can't remember its typing. It's not the poison water that uh, Nido King is. I could purchase healing items, but Pokeballs. Hey, Vote, we've already ran into two legendaries that are wild, and 
you know, I burnt through Pokeballs trying to catch one, and then the other one I didn't have Pokeballs either time it stepped in front of me, so it, the answer is just always Pokeballs now. We must always be able to capture something. You know, just in case God shows up. You have to go back now. Ice Ball, yes please. Oh man, that's gonna be... Mmm. Hammer arm can go bye bye. I'm pretty sure I have something else that'll hopefully eventually learn a fighting type move. Ice Ball is just one that gets stronger with consecutive uses, so. It's a nice little power creep. And it doesn't lower a stat of mine. How do I. Oh, I can get to that one without knowing Surf. Excellent. Another Calcium. Oh, dude, a crany dose! I love crany dose! Now the question, can we hurt it without killing it? Well, it's weak to ice. So, rock or dragon, I believe. God, Satan. Kitty, Big Kitty, Multi Boy, Nightmare, whoever gets in front of us. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh no, I just automatically use Ice Ball. Whoops. I forgot Ice Ball is automatic. You don't get a choice on fight or not. Um. Win! We're just gonna switch those two real quick. And we're gonna look for another Cranny Dose. Because I wanted a Cranny Dose. Soul Rock, you're not who I wanted. Pokemon to the face. I don't know if they're roaming yet or not, but I think the three Lake Legendaries might also be already roaming in game. I don't know if the randomizer affects them or not since their storyline, but I mean, Melty Boy and Satan are already roaming around. And I already have the Moon Goddess on my team, so. Eh, effect spore actually went off. Alright then. That's fine, that's XP. Ah. Okay, so that one. My dad gave me some Pokemon. They're gonna win for me. I don't like hunting the actual roaming Pokemon. Yeah, I don't blame you, it's annoying. a trade for that Ralts. Oh wait, no, let's not trade because my trades are randomized too. Okay, so Ralts is a grass or a dark type. And apparently has poison point as the status of ability. Yeah, I know you're hurt by poison. Keep battling. Six again. Yes, the Eon Twins would be nice to have. What? Oh. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that wasn't a great move. Let's try Aqua Tail. Yeah, the Eon Twins would be amazing. Mm. What's what? No, oh, okay. 
with that. <sighs> okay. We're just gonna run back real quick and heal because of the poison. I know he can shake it off, but the whole point is to level in between cities. Any of the five birds or the three beasts? Yeah. Yeah, everything down to from Gen 1 to Gen 4 should be in this. I don't know if Gen 5 is. The mod has Gen 5 available, but I don't know if they made Gen 5 co backwards compatible with 4 via the mod. I know if I do this mod through like Leaf Green randomize or a Leaf Green emulator, it'll have the first three generations because those were all on the same uh, gaming console. All right, hello, XP. Let's try some X scissor. where the bugs live. trouble you for a battle. Okay. Ninkata. Um, I don't remember Ninkata's typing. I, I honestly don't know, Boa. Like... It's kind of funny how it's worked out, but I'd honestly have to catch more to be certain. Another tunnel. Alright, so another tunnely maze. Ooh, Pokeball. Ooh, a repeat ball. Not the greatest thing, but at least it's something. Florentino, okay. <laughs> I guess Cynthia's not a champion anymore, guys. It's Florentino here with their level seven Mankey. <laughs> Holy, yeah, I know, right? Quick Ball would have been amazing. Or a Master Ball. You can just randomly pick up Master Balls with the randomizer for items on. Sweet, level 11. Quick Ball also works. Uh, fast Balls work on Pokemon who are fast. Quick Balls are the anti-timer ball, so you use them immediately and they have the best chance of catching. Because the timer ball is the one that the more turns have gone through, the better chance catch it has. And I think it's like 50 some odd turns is supposed to turn it essentially into a Master Ball. I'm pretty sure the one you just chuck is the quick ball. It should be the blue and yellow ball. And then the fast ball is like, I want to say red, yellow, and white. And that's for like Pokemon with insanely high speed stat. 
it's like the heavy ball for heavy Pokemon is supposed to have a better catch chance, but it doesn't always. Also, this thing's weak to ice. I'm not gonna lie, I'm weirded out by the Pokemon that aren't a Vespa Queen summoning in bees for help. There we go. So does this mean we're now the Pokemon champion since we just beat a champion? No? Okay. Alright, random flame plate. When the universe was created, its shards became this plate. Yeah, I know. I know. We found part of God. Oh no, the twins. I forgot about the twin fights. Cute couple. Um, I have concerns if they're a cute couple in the way that that normally means cute couple. Can I trouble you for that marsh stomp? Actually, Aqua Tail. Nope, okay. Oh no, not Brain Tap. Brain Tap will die. And we miss. It's resistant to ice. Marsh Stomp apparently knows Future Sight. Normally I'd be panicking about the wood hammer. Let's try that again. Okay. myself that Arcanine is not a fire type, it is a psychic electric type. Okay, you just checked the timer wall catch rates? What'd you find out? Because I remember at one time reading like 25 was supposed to be a Master Ball and that's that's a lie. Or at least in the newer generations, that's a lie. The timer ball was really weird to use because it became time based, not turn based. And so, like, the best thing you could do for yourself was to, um, like, chew up the battle and then just sit on the same turn for, like, overnight if you could, if your Game Boy had enough batteries for it. I, I mean, if you were using the secondary slot on NDS, you just left it plugged into the charger. And that was essentially turned it into a Master Ball. 31 is a Master Ball? Okay. I remember for the longest time hearing like 25 and that was never the case for me. I'd always exactly count out like 25 turns and it would never work. And I'd always, always like only ever have one on me and that'd be like the last thing I had. I don't know. Pokemon games have changed a lot over the years. Like, what was it? The original Gen 2 Trio games, you could get a shiny Ditto because shinies were determined via stats. And so if you got a shiny ditto, it already had a stat for the shiny. So you had like a 1 in 64 chance of hatching a shiny ditto, or not a shiny ditto, a shiny Pokemon using a shiny ditto to breed with. So it's strange how that one worked. And now that's not the case. Shinies are no longer tied to stats or anything. So it's just suffer. <laughs> Okay, so we've made it to Flor Floraroma Town, which is like all of the flowers 
I think this is where we learn about honey. And we can, like, start slathering honey on trees. Yeah. That, that sounds right, Boa. I think we can start, like, replanting berries for accessories. Oh, okay. That's what it is. You can change them out for accessories. Is there something? Oh, right. You guys are blocking off this forest because I think there's a lake nearby. There's nothing wrong with honey. Honey's amazing. This was the route where you could originally catch a drift flume, wasn't it? 21 is better than an ultra ball? Yeah. I don't know. My standard method was always, like, peg a quick ball at it, see if you got lucky, and if not, just get it low and, like, paralyze it. And then at that point, you just start praying. Help, help, trainer. Can you get my papa for me? He works at Windworks Valley. But the people dressed like spacemen are mean and won't let me in. Yeah, sure, kid. Yeah, this is where Drifloon used to spawn. <laughs> the only annoying part about it is that you have to wait like six hours IRL because of the time mechanic before anything was attracted to the tree. So it was really easy to slather a tree with honey and then forget about it. It's a Krogunk! It's something that evolves, if we can catch it. It's only at level 7, so it might get murdered. Peg it with Ultra Balls after this, using stuns for a sleep powder. <laughs> See, I, sleep's a great mechanic, but I always hated dealing with the legendaries when they woke up. So I would just rather go for the Paralyzed, as long as they didn't have an ability to cure themselves of it, it stuck around a lot better for me. It also gave them more turns before they had to start using struggle and possibly killing themselves. Because yes, I've had legendary fights go where everyone's out of moves and you're just crying going, get in the ball and stay, please. Why are you a dragon type? <laughs> Our, our normally a fighting poison is a dragon. Yes, we must name her. Uh, what am I gonna name this thing? Y you know what? We're gonna be nerdy. How do I spell that name? Oh gosh. <laughs> the fact that that comes up. Okay. So I was right on the short version, but I want to spell the long version, so... It is the right colors for a dragon. But her name is Suyu in honor of My Hero Academia, because... Dragon Frog. <laughs> oh, whoops. Right here, buddy. Don't you dare go into the valley when it works. I got ordered to keep everyone out if they're not part of Team Galactic. You're giving me a look that makes me think you're gonna try to get in. Okay, then you have to bow me for it. I'm not supposed to let anybody in, but you're gonna do it anyway, so I'm gonna fight you. <laughs> oh, hey, an Electrike. Sparky boy. So resistant to bug, but not critical hits. Octazooka. Okay, that's a choice. Aqua Tail. Space no Yeah, I know, right? They all have that awful bowl cut on top of their head. Sweet, I think our entire party is level 12 now. <laughs> you 
can't get in without the other key. However, I'm gonna tell you exactly where that other key is. Did I talk to you earlier? Yeah, teal bowl cuts. Oh, right, they went into the forest. Hand over the honey. Do as we say. We will have that honey. I want to point out, if you just took these lines out of context, it, it doesn't sound good. <laughs> this kid's a witness. What do we do? We don't need that brat running off for help. If we beat sh the brat and sure they stay quiet. <laughs> And this is why the Pokemon universe isn't allowed the uh, pew pew sticks. Oh wait, no, we know it was a ghost type. Why did I do that? Wait, it's a ghost fire type? Oh, or, well, it's ghost either. We know it's ghost for sure, but it's either fire, ground, or rock. Yeah, we'll keep battling. Grunts acknowledge that they're grunts. Oh shoot, what's your typing? Um... Oh, I don't remember. I fought a Starly at the beginning of the game. Right, grass, because it's weak to poison and bug. Okay. <laughs> they seem to have forgotten it. I love how they just drop the key as they run away. I mean, in the Japanese release of the anime, the park ranger... Yeah, the, the park ranger did have a pew-pew stick, but, uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's just say there's a reason why our evil organizations don't normally have them. Because <laughs> our... Constantly 10 to 12 year old protagonists would not make it far. Are you the person who teaches me about planting stuff? No. I, I doubt I'll be back anytime within the next six hours to check that tree. I still find the early anime really hilarious because Brock shares a voice actor with Seto Kaiba. Yeah. I still think, like, the early anime, my favorite line that messed me up as a kid was Brock pulling out Onigiri and being like, I have this jelly donut. That messed with me so hard as a kid because I didn't know what Onigiri was. And I didn't really know what a jelly donut was either. Like, I knew donuts existed, but I didn't know about jelly donuts. Like, I didn't know what they looked like. I just knew they existed. So him holding up a, a rice ball, like an onigiri rice ball, confused the tar out of me. Because, like, I could see the seaweed square. I'm like, I knew it wasn't a jelly donut, but I'm like, what? what is that? And then, you know, I finally did research when I was, like, 15. I was like, oh, that's a rice ball. He held up a rice ball, and we called it a jelly donut in the English translation. <laughs> yeah, right? The, the frying pan into a drying pan pun was 
dad joke level of pun quality there. <laughs> yes, I have the key. Hi. Nope, okay, there's nothing in the corner. Alright, time to fight a ton of grunts. At least, I don't think the Valley Works place was nearly as bad as, um, oh gosh, what was it? The Sylph Company Tower in Saffron City in any version of Kanto. Wolf. You want to talk about some gnarly fights. I don't remember what your typing was. Okay, so you're resistant to bug. Which... Yes, exactly that! Rocket jelly-filled donuts that were not donuts, nor were they jelly-filled. If they were lucky, they had red bean paste in them. At least each of these grunts is giving us enough money for two Pokeballs. Um, okay, he's level... Or she's level 13, so we're gonna switch her out with Steel Toe. Trying not to overlevel one specific Pokemon in case I get boned by something evolving. Oh, goodness. Sebastian Esteban. Scribe. Scribe Esteban. I saw a YouTuber making jelly filled donuts shaped like. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> like, kudos to them. But at the same time, like, the trust level has been violated so hard there. Oh, oh, the ice has melted in that. That does not taste good anymore. Oh, where's my water bottle? Oh, that was a mistake. Oh, it tastes like warm syrup. Like, warm maple syrup. He coated it in coconut and had a strip of marzipan from seaweed. Okay! It was an April Fool's episode? Okay, yeah. That doesn't surprise me, but still. Dude. That's a dark type move, isn't it? What do you know? Let's get rid of Power Whip. I have no luck with Power Whip. Scale Mail can remember Power Whip. Yeah, we'll switch. Comment section. All right. I have questions for this YouTuber. <laughs> Try an Iron Tail. I don't know. Scale mail. Like, I I hope you evolve into something speedy. Okay, all right, see, if you told me it had been Babish, I would have completely understood. That makes a lot more sense now. And we both whiff. Scale mail. 
H2O, you haven't come out of your Pokeball in a hot second. Yeah, Rock Smash. Let you try out your new move. Blizzard has an insanely low hit rate. It's not quite one hit KO status, but it's one step down from sheer cold. Alright, we're gonna switch you and you. Can I just go fight the commander? Yep, okay. I'm one of the three commanders. We've been trying to create a new world that's better than this one. But people have shown little understanding about what we do. Man, I got some comments on that, but we're not gonna get into that. If I win, you leave. If you win, we to leave. Galactic shall leave. I I really hope scale mail evolves into something. The game's just like, alright, now it has all the speed ever. Because the stats uh, progression should randomize when it evolves. I'm not as scared of you. You have a comb beat. The only way I'd be scared is if that Combi's an ice type. It's a steel type. Yeah, I know, right? Like. Sheer Cold and Guillotine, I swear, exist to give you the middle finger as a player when you go to use them. And they also give you the middle finger because your opponent, when they have them, just hits. And it's really annoying because it's like, oh, it's a one-hit KO, and then your opponent proceeds to use it three times, and they hit two of the three times. You're like, that's more than a one-hit KO. Which is funny, because I'm pretty sure one of the Pokemon in my team right now is immune to one-hit KO moves, like, as their ability. I'll have to double-check that. Please do not die to this Weather Ball. I need you to scream again. chance of working, it says. <laughs> I still feel like that's generous. Because, I mean, I've even wasted PP ups on, like, sheer cold and guillotine to try to get them to hit more often because I have more chances of it, and it just never works. Yeah, we're gonna switch. Kirby Miss is in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Estimation when used by players and a vast underestimation. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, we'll try Magnitude. The chances of Chimeco actually having Levitate are high. But it's resistant as all get out. So, Ice Ball. Because that Magnitude 8 literally did nothing. did essentially nothing. We're gonna die to wake up slap, by the way. Found the actual formula and it explains a lot. Does it have a, like, explicit thing to say players get less of a hit chance? Yeah, there goes Bay. I guess... Brain Zap. Come on, Brain Zap. Technically, I should be focusing on the Sand Shrews to get them to evolve, but I also don't want to get to the point to where they don't listen to me. Are you 
seriously healing yourself? Okay, I was like, say, if you're healing yourself, I have problems. Minus the enemy level. Oh, wait. User level, not player. Okay. Yeah, no, that explains a lot more. Because most of the time, whenever you're battling opponents with it, you're a higher level than they are, so they actually get a buff to hitting. Trump guard. I don't know what typing this Chime Echo is, but man, is it tanking damage like nobody's business. Also, it just used Sword Dance. I'm sure about to hurt. Because the only thing it's been resistant to has been Ground, but it's taken such little damage overall. I feel like it just has insane defense. Well, oh, Brain Zap Lift. Okay. Again. Oh no. Okay, that's not important. Maybe I'll get lucky in the single use sword stance for the second time in a row and I can actually beat it. Accuracy starts at 30% when a Pokemon is at the same level and 1% more likely to hit for every level the user is higher than the target. If the user is at least 70 levels higher than the target, Sheer Cold will always hit. If the user is a lower level than the target, the no, move always fails. Wow. Oh, wow, we actually beat that Chime Echo. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> sweet. Alright, cool, Boa. Messed that one up. I just had a thought. So we know that like the legendaries are supposed to be locked in position and where they spawn and everything. I wonder if the randomizer has affected that. I haven't done research on that. So we might go to, uh... that is the Gen 4 version? Okay. We might go to stop Team Galactic from summoning in Dialga, and it could, for all we know, be like a swine up or something. And if that's the case, I'm gonna die laughing. Later gens, it drops to 20. Okay. I just, I could never get it to work in like Gen 1 and Gen 2, so I just never used it. Like, I was like, this is pointless. I mean, I guess that makes sense. If you're always higher than your enemy, yeah, you're gonna have a real hard time hitting. Okay, we've caught a couple of, like, we caught that toxic, or the Krogunk and stuff. I wanna see what their movesets are, just out of curiosity on the Pokemon we've caught. Have summoned the great Hoppip. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Alright, what does Mead know? So he's a ground ghost type. Relaxed, quick tempered, and likes sour food. With flame body, it knows thunder, flash cannon, air slash, and pluck. That's tempting, but you don't evolve, which means you're stuck at your stat line. Polybug knows metronome splash, gastro acid, and superpower. Not that good. There's a lot of luck in those moves. It's a fighting book type. Oh yeah. Okay. And then Suyu, who is our dragon, our dragon frog, has a serious nature, strongly defiant. Oh god, so I can't level that one without badges. Happily eats anything. With overgrown. Barrier, smelling salt, needle arm, and pedal dance. Eh, not the best moveset. Okay, so I don't feel the need to carry swap out for any of those. Okay, 
Okay. Um, hopefully, Drake should be starting here soon. And when he does... Okay, is he live now? Let me see if Drake's live now, because if so, we're probably going to stop there, and I'm just going to do a raid with Drake and send you guys all over there. So give me one sec to double-check this. Yes, he is live as of a minute ago. Okay, cool. So we're going to end this part here, and I will be back tomorrow probably about the same time, and we'll continue this. But for now, we're going to start a raid, and we're going to go raid Drake, because that's a fun thing to do. So give me just a second to get this moved up or set up to go raid Drake. Sounds good? Okay, yeah. Okay, so... Okay. I gotta remember how to set up a raid. Helps if I actually can see everything. There we go. There we go. Alright, so I'm sending you guys off to Drake's channel here in about 8 seconds. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Feel free to join in. If you miss, it will be up on my channel to go view at your pleasure. You can go view both parts from last night where I had a crash and had to restart my stream. But let me know if you guys like this, okay? I'll catch you later. Bye!